the gentlemen of Verona comprehension I. Question 1. Where does the narrator first meet the two boys? The narrator first meets on the outskirts of Verona. Question 2. Why doesn't the driver approve of the narrator buying fruit from the two boys? Does he succeed? The driver Luigi stopped the speaker that they would get fruits much better in Verona. Finally, they bought the biggest basket of fruits. Question 3. List the different things the boys did to earn their living. The boys were selling wild strawberries, dried scarlet berries that looked delicious against the dark green leaves lining the wicker basket. Question 4. In spite of working hard and earning money, the two boys still looked poor because A. They were saving money to go to America. B. They had other plans. C. Wanted had other plans. Ans. A. They were saving money to go to America. Question 5. What qualities in the two boys attracted the narrator? Answer. The two boys proved extremely useful to us. If they wanted a pack of American cigarettes, or seats for the opera, or the name of a good restaurant that could provide good ravioli, Nicola and Jacopo could be relied upon to satisfy our needs with their usual cheerful competence. Thus they made an attraction to the narrator. Question 6. Nicola was not pleased when Jacopo asked the narrator to drive them to Polita as he a. Did not want a stranger to become involved with their plans. B. Preferred going to Polita by train so that he could enjoy the scenery. C. Did not want to ask anyone for favors. D. Did not want to take help from someone he did not know well. Ans. D. Did not want to take help from someone he did not know well. Question 7. Why did the two boys go to Polita and why did they want the narrator not to follow them? The two boys went to Polita to visit her sister. Question 8. The narrator did not follow the boys because A. He was not invited to join them. B. He was not interested in knowing what the boys were up to. C. He wanted to respect their privacy. Ans. C. He wanted to respect their privacy. Question 9. What had made the two boys and their sisters homeless? Answer. Due to the war the two boys' father of widower, a well-known singer at La Scala, had been killed in the early part of the war. Shortly afterward a bomb had destroyed their home and thrown the three children into the streets. Question 10. What does the narrator learn from Lucia's nurse? Answer. Lucia while telling the story of the two boys she broke off, her eyes moist, then with even deeper feeling she went on. She took a good care of their sister. The narrator learns the good-heartedness from the Lucia's nurse. Question 11. The author did not speak to the boys on their return journey because he thought, A. The boys would prefer to keep their secret. B. The boys were ashamed of their sister's condition. C. They wouldn't tell him the truth. D. The boys might ask him for money for their sister's treatment. Answer. A. The boys would prefer to keep their secret. To gentlemen of Verona comprehension 2. Question 1. In what different ways were the boys useful to the narrator? Answer. The boys were extremely useful to us. If the narrator wanted a pack of American cigarettes, or seats for the opera, or the name of a good restaurant that could provide good ravioli, Nicola and Jacopo could be relied upon to satisfy our needs with their usual cheerful competence. Question 2. What do you understand about the boys' character from their action and behavior? Answer. The boys were really good in character. There is a purpose for their life. They were working very hard for that. They wanted to save their sister from the disease of their sister. Question 3. The boys are evasive in disclosing their plan to the narrator in the story because A. They thought he could never understand their plight. B. They did not want to share their problem with a stranger. C. They did not want to gain anybody's sympathy. Answer. 
B. They did not want to share their problem with a stranger. To Gentlemen of Verona Comprehension 3 Question 1 Do you think the ending comes to you as a surprise? Why? Answer The boys rejoined the narrator. The boys sat beside him, not speaking, in a mood of quiet contentment. For his part, he did not say a word. The narrator knew they would prefer to feel that they had safely kept their secret. Yet this silent epic of youthful devotion had touched him deeply. Question 2. Had you been in the place of the narrator would you have behaved differently? Answer. Yes, I could have done something to the two boys. I started speaking to them and consoled them for their worries. Question 3. Appearances are deceptive. How does the story bring out this idea? Answer. The appearance of the two boys was shabby. One boy had on a worn jersey and cut off khaki pants, the other a shortened army tunic gathered in loose folds about his skinny frame. Yet gazing at the two little figures, with their brown skins, tangled hair and dark earnest eyes, we felt ourselves strongly attracted. As the days passed on the completely had a close contact with the boys. The narrator slowly started asking about the boys' personal life. They spend nothing on clothes. They eat little enough, having a meal it's usually black bread and figs. Question 4. War army destroy one's home but not one's heart. Discuss the statement with reference to the story of the two boys. Answer. During the war the two boys lost their father, a well-known singer at La Scala. Shortly afterward a bomb had destroyed their home and thrown the three children into the streets. They had always known a comfortable and cultured life. Lucia had herself been training as a singer. And they had suffered horribly from near starvation and exposure to the cold Veronese winter. For moths they had barely kept themselves alive in a sort of shelter they built with their own hands amidst the rubble. Then German elite guard established headquarters in Verona and for three dreadful years ruled the city with ruthless severity. The boys grew to hate those harsh, unwanted masters and when the resistance movement began secretly to form, they were among the first to join. The two boys came back to their beloved sister and they found her suffering from tuberculosis of the spine, contracted during the miseries of the war. These boys are living for their sister. They admitted her to the hospital for treatment. Though the army destroyed their home, they have not lost their hope of life. They have a brave heart. Question 5. Do you think the story is a telling comment on the true character of a gentleman? Elaborate. Answer. The narrator respects the boy's attitude. He saw a great hard work behind their life. The readiness of their duties is extremely good. It is really touching that they dedicate their life for their sister. He observed each and every character of the boys and helped them to go to America. In spite of knowing the story of them, he did not even ask about it. The narrator sincerely respected their feeling. Theses show the true character of a gentleman. To gentlemen of Verona additional question and answer. Question 1. What did the boys sell? Answer. The boys sold wild strawberries, bright scarlet berries that looked delicious against the dark green leaves lining the wicker basket. They also sold newspapers. Question 2. What are names and ages of the boys given in the context? Answer. Nicola, the elder, was 13, Jacopo, was 12. Question 3. Who discovered that they were brothers? Answer. The companion of the speaker discovered that the two boys were brothers. Qu question 4. Where did they go usually on every Andes? How? Answer. Every Sunday they make a visit to the States, to Polita, 30 kilometers from here.
Usually they hired bicycles. Question 5. Who asked the speaker to send them in his car? Answer. The second brother asked the speaker to send them in his car. Question 6. What are the things found in girl's room? Answer. A vase of wild flowers stood on her table, beside a dish of fruit and several books. Question 7. What is the age of the sister? Answer. She is 22 years of old. Question 8. What disease their sister affected with? Answer. She had tuberculosis of the spine contracted during the miseries of the war. Question 9. What message this story gives to the world? Answer. The boy's selfless action brought a new nobility to human life, gave promise to a greater hope for human society. Question 10. What touched the narrator while driving them back? Answer. The silent epic of youthful devotion had touched him deeply. Question 11. How did they look after their sister? Answer. The boys brought her and persuaded the doctors to take her into the hospital. In the 12 months she has been their patient, she has made good progress. There is every hope that one day she will walk and sing again. Every week, Lucia's brothers have made their payment.